be ready 5 seconds sir i just want to start with the finance bill the provisions for taxation other than the points discussed in the general discussion on the general budget this discussion on the finance bill like the way many honorable members have seen through the kind of details and was able to highlight what has been said in the finance bill actually highlights the way in which under the leadership of honorable prime minister shri narendra modi during the pandemic and coming out of the pandemic and aiding recovery we have taken a conscious decision i hope i am able to articulate this fact to all the honorable members that we have taken a conscious position not to fund the recovery through any additional taxes that is why last year and this year there is continuity in not bringing newer taxation and that is something which i would like to place on record of this house it is because i want to draw on the reports which have come out of the oecd organization for economic cooperation and development it very clearly said that at least 32 countries increased various tax rates during the pandemic india did not 32 countries during the pandemic increased personal income tax or tax on corporate income or environmental related taxes were raised or health related taxes were raised or excise duties were raised we have not done that last year nor have we done it this year which are these countries which had to depend on tax increases to meet the expenses of the pandemic they are no less absolutely developed countries large countries like germany france canada uk and russia apart from very many smaller economies all of them depended on increasing taxation to meet the demands of the covid-19 pandemic and also the recovery requirements so i would like to place that on the table because the clear instruction which in fact i received while preparing the budget 2021 and budget 2022 was that we shall not take the taxation route i remember the media last year was also suggesting that there could be a covid-19 tax but we did not resort to any of these steps to burden the common man and as a result therefore this finance bill has been received as being one of the boring ones one of the 
insipid ones, one of them which had nothing great about it. It is indeed, I would think, a budget which did not burden the common public, but yet put the money where the multipliable be the maximum, and where the infrastructure creation of assets will happen. And on that we did not come up with small allowances in the budget, but a big time increase in infrastructure spending. There are more to say on that, sir, but I will come to that a bit later, after I answer the specific questions which members have raised on issues pertaining to the features of the budget. I just want to specifically tell Sri Gaurav Gogoi that the corporate tax reduction has actually been carried out. As you observed it, there is no relief for the middle class. Has there been any study undertaken to assess the impact of corporate tax rate reduction is one of the questions which he has raised. Sir, through you, I would like to inform the honorable member. For individuals due to rebate, they do not pay any tax if income is below rupees 5 lakh. This is very well known. Those opting for tax savings, of course, pay no tax even on higher income, as they can claim deduction for tax saving and for bringing the income below rupees 5 lakh. For those who are not opting for any of these exemptions, last year we came out with a separate track or a second alternative tax saving scheme. We have come up with that kind of an income tax layer with which they can pay lesser tax and benefit from it. But about the corporate tax reductions, it has actually helped the economy. It has helped the government and it has also helped the companies because we are now starting to see the positive impact. In the year 2018-19, our corporate tax collection was about rupees 6.6 .6 lakh crore. Then COVID-19 happened and so you could not have expected anything to come through there. In spite of tax reduction and COVID-19, we have already collected corporate tax of rupees 7.3 lakh crore till yesterday. So, the reduction in corporate tax has actually now given us the reward in spite of the intervening year being under COVID-19. So, I wanted to inform that the corporate tax is actually also helping the flow of money 
and also making sure that the health of the companies is improving, thereby improving the possibilities of greater employment.